Hey guys, me and Tommy Schmore, and, and uh, I'm going to review Dead Oak Season 2. The um, second season to the highest of the Dead Oak, so check out Netflix. So, let's get start. Oh, before I begin, I'm going to do this review as spoiler free as possible because um, I'm, I don't I'm going to spoil anything about the show and the show just premiered. So, um, enjoy my spoiler free review of Dead Oak Season 2 as possible. Let's get started. Um, what's the basic plot of Season 2? In the void left by Fisk, Fisk removal, a new flat in the house kitchen emerged. Murdered. Murdered and Foggy take a client with a customer pass. Basically, um, basic plot, Punisher shows up, and after that, and then that's the basic plot with Jimmy Spurs. So going into the season, after the success of season one, I would hype as all hell. And, um, and after seeing season two, all of it, Holy shit, this show is awesome! I mean, pfft, amazing! Um, what's up with the elephant in the, in, in the room? Um, jo John Birdfell, I think that's the name of the actor, uh, John Birdfell and Puncher. Now, here's the thing. If you've seen my channel, or seen Sean, Sean, at the um, video, no? Me, me and him, we both agree, like, like um, I love Tom and Jane Puncher. But, um, John, but, um, uh, who played it? John Bilbo Puncher? Holy shit, he is the Puncher. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Tom and Jane, but John Bilbo, he is the Puncher. Like, holy shit, like, he kicked out, take names, and he does not give a fucking awesome! Like, pfft, he's amazing. <laughs> like, um, he, he made it, you know, at the, um, takes Frank Castle's um, isolation, um, and, but, um, extreme, extreme, Methods, but he did it well. He did it amazing. Like, I, I just want to already. I'm about to tell you, and John Bobo is the definitive puncher. Period. And it's so he's amazing. Um, speaking speaking of amazing, John Cocker dead level. At this point, he is dead level. And it's awesome. Like, holy shit! Like, when you can see dead kick ass, and it's just seeing the fight scene one. Seeing two fights are far. Boy, better than scene one. And scene one fight is so amazing. It was seen to take the action, but uh, it must, uh, take it much more higher notch. Take note, Ello. This is how you do action great. And story great. Oh, speaking of character development, um, let's talk about Electra. Um, who played Electra? It d doesn't say. Um, hang on. Okay, oh yeah, I already young. The actor played Electra in, in the show, she was great! Like, holy shit, like, Electra in the show, it's so dark, and so awesome, that, it's hard to talk in the spoiler, I don't want to do that, and like, she's amazing, like, I, like, if you're a fan of Electra in general, and you want to see a, a true Electra, watch this show, do not watch that movie, that movie sucks, this is, this is the, the thing of Electra, like, um, are you already young? I sued you. You're great. Um, speaking of which, what, what, what talk about basically, um, Karen, ca or, or not Karen, oh, that's the spoiler. Um, what talk about the supporting cast? Um, I didn't have to add, add Foggy Nelson. He was great. Like, um, he, he and Mario in this scene had much more to do, and I liked it that I seen um, Dead O and, and Foggy, it's actually interesting with their relationship. Um, actually, the story is great, the writing is great, um, it's hard to talk, talk about the other the story, I don't want to do that. Um, what to talk about? Um, Debbie and Laura Karen Page. She and my being is good too, and she and my being are two, if you've seen season one, you know, I, and this season she gets more character moment, which I like, um, I can't even talk about Kara because I don't want to get too much spoilers. Um, that's what, um, that, that, that's the problem doing with this show. If someone talk about, I like, don't want to get spoiled. I don't want to do that to you guys. Um, acting is great, writing is great, story is great. Um, I think. Oh, I'm um, speaking. Speaking of which, um, did I get one thing I did you want to talk about you know, with the hand? Now, if you've seen the trailer. You know that the hand is involved, but I won't get too much spoiled, but 
The hand in the show is fucking amazing. Holy shit. Well, you can see him, it's awesome. Um, that's all I get for Jimmy Spoiler with the plot is, um. I didn't, I didn't have anybody about the game too much spoiler, you know? Final thoughts. Um, if you've seen season one, you know, and you didn't like it, um, I highly recommend you give season two a chance. This show is amazing. It's dark, gr gr gritty, holy shit, violent, and awesome and action. It's a great crime drama shot, detective shot, um, superhero show. This is how. L should have been, but L did it wrong. Dead L did it great. This show is amazing. Um, I think that's better than too much spoilers. Okay, um, final thoughts on season two of getting too much spoilers. Um, if you love season one, I highly recommend you see the show, season two. It's amazing. And trust me, if you love Dead L, watch the show. Um, anyways, final thoughts. I get Dead L season two, eh? Come with me. A 5 out of 5. Perfection. A plus. If you love Dead Hour and you love Punisher and you love Electra, you'll love the show. Trust me. Um, you'll love it. If you don't, then that's fine. You can tell your opinion. Anyway, um, that's my review of Dead Hour Season 2 at Spoiler Free at Possible. Please don't comment that more until you think about Dead Hour Season 2. If you like it, do it. it. Also, a great picture pay for me on Twitter, and please, um, subscri subscribe to my channel. Oh, before I forget, um, I'm probably going to do a spoiler field review of Season 2 probably, hopefully, next week before that Bambi Zoom in. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Anyway, I'm Tim Spoon. Peace out. Long of Dead Devil. Oh, 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 and I can't wait for Luke Cage. That, 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 that's coming out this year, so I can't wait to see that. Tim Spoon. Peace out. Bye.